one. So it is uh, week number two weigh-in, and I'm happy to report that this past week has left me with a four-pound loss, which is pretty cool. I'm pretty happy. Um, I wasn't sure what the loss would be this week because, um, as I said before I started again, I did lose 16 pounds before I came back to YouTube. Um, so now with the four, it's a total of 20 pounds gone, which is like exciting. Um, and, but counting, if we're just counting YouTube and Weight Watchers, I'm just going to stick with that from now on and it'll be a total of four. Um, but anyway, I am uploading a video in a little bit of the clips throughout the week, of course. Um, as I said, I'm going to be doing that. It's kind of just vlogging randomly. But having favorite foods, of course, that I want to share and different recipes. But just different things that have helped me a great deal. The camera on this, that's better, isn't it? Maybe. Anyway, I'll try it this way. <laughs> um, my camera quality is horrible on this laptop, but I'm using it for right now anyway. Um, because I find it easier to just to capture and to post. Um, I find it way less time consuming and I already have to edit the vlog so it's kind of yeah anyway so I lost four pounds this week to review I did use my 49 weeklies I ate my 27 points a day I ate my 49 weeklies and I did have god what did I have I had pizza almost every day meaning nan pizzas and now looking at it um, you'll see flat out pizzas um, Flat Out is like this great brand that has different things like that, and um, yes, I'm in my bathroom. <laughs> um, it has great things like that. It has such amazing, I've loved the smaller ones for sandwiches, but now they've come out with an actual pizza crust, and it's just, there are no words. It is just amazing. Um, I do like the Nan pizzas, but for one point less, I can have a bigger portion and it tastes better. So I'm going to be sticking with the flat outs for my pizza now. The recipe will be in my vlog. So before you ask what the recipe is, when I post my vlog, I have it all in it. Just boom, boom, boom. Show you how to make it. I just make cheese and pep. Very easy. Nothing. I don't like veggies and all that stuff mixed in as of yet, so I'm just not. I may perhaps someday, just not right now. But it's a six-point lunch, which I think is very reasonable for having this big, this, like, little pizza to yourself. Um, I'm experimenting a lot with different things. I'm addicted to spinach fruit salad um, with some omega oil, which I'll share with you, too, in the vlog. Um, I'm not a big salad person. I like very simple. I don't like tomato. There's a lot, so many vegetables I don't like, but I don't mind spinach. But the crunch of the sprouts makes it more like tolerable to eat. With the crunch of the sprouts, it kind of makes it better. Um, so I've been sticking with that. Um, but just regular things. There's all these different foods that I'm trying to get myself to try even. And I'm not, I'm the pickiest eater in the world maybe, but I'm just trying different things and trying to see what works for me. When you're doing Weight Watchers, you don't need to follow a certain thing as far as what everybody else is eating. You need to eat what you like, for sure. Incorporating healthy habits, not starving yourself, like don't live on zero-point foods. Don't do that, because you're just causing your body to be unhealthy. But, um, as far as do low point with points kind of thing. I made a beef and broccoli supper last night, and of course broccoli is zero, but the beef was five, and the sauces were two, so it was seven points, but it's just, it's making balance of everything and making everything work, and that's what can work for you. Now, I find this week I'm pumped up I'm hoping for another loss this week. Even if it's like 0.5, I don't care. I'm just so... I feel good. And compared to when I looked, I rewatched my weigh-in from last week, I was so sad, wasn't I? I was so sad and so like, this is my weigh-in. And blah, blah. I was just... 
not in a good mood. Um, but I am this week, and it's not just because of the loss. I was in a good mood before the loss happened. I really was. And it's just kind of getting better and better. But um, if you'd like to see certain, like, of my favorite foods and whatnot, as I said, don't eat what you don't like. Eat what you like. If you love cereals, have cereal for breakfast. You can find really great low-point ones. Um, and even if they're not, if you're going to spend five points on cereal, just spend five points on cereal. Because seriously, life is too short. And I know I'm saying that, and I'm following your restricted program, but you can make it work for you. That's the big thing about that I love about Weight Watchers, is you can make it work for you. Um, I'm not a big breakfast person, but I would like something a little bit in the morning, obviously, to get my system going. So I've just been having the one cup of my, I share that I think it's in the vlog, of my puffs with a banana. Like, it's not a big breakfast. It's something in the morning. But I just don't like breakfast. But I know I need to eat breakfast, so I just eat something small. But that's it. I don't really have much else to say. I'm in a pretty good mood. But if you want to... Oh, exercise. I really didn't do any planned exercise this week. But I have been painting our front step. And that's been like two hours a day every day. And I never calculated the activity points, but I don't really use them anyway. So I'm assuming painting a step and bending and stretching would burn something, but I'm not really worried about it. So I shall see you next week with another vlog and another weigh-in video. If there's any videos that you would like to see, please comment below and I will see what I can do. Um, I am going to this upcoming weekend do a weekend food vlog, which is I will film every food I eat Saturday and Sunday and put that together for you. So I hope you all have a great week, and I shall see you next Wednesday.